three, two, one. Hey Troy, hey we're back here again and we uh, want to do a good follow-up video to your other uh, uh, hits we've had on YouTube and I know you're excited about sharing a little bit more of your message. Uh, I know and we talked about uh, a little bit about your injury before but how is that, want to expand on that a little bit about your injury? Um, my injury, first of all when I was in the hospital I was first of all told I wasn't going to live. And then when it became evident that I was going to survive, there was a particular nurse there that said the best anybody could hope for is that I could I would, I would live in a group care home for the rest of my life. I've been married. I've been living on my own for quite some time now. Okay. Um, and then I know I know you don't want to uh, you know a lot of people are sensitive to this, but I know. Uh, your religion and, and your relationship uh, as a Christian has it been important to you? How's that? How's that pulled you through some hard times? It's the only thing I have to look forward to. Um, I'm not trying to preach to anybody, but um, Jesus was there for me and took me as I was, and uh, and I'm very thankful. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, yeah, you're not preaching. I think that's it's important to you and got you through a lot. So I think that's important that you share that. Um, and then also, I know you're really concerned about rubbing people wrong and, and sharing your message and, and uh, where you're either preaching to somebody or acting like their parent. How, how is that important to you not to be their parent? Well, I would never try to be anybody's parent. Uh -huh. um, I just, I know what happened to me. And, uh, and I don't really expect everybody to hear what I'm saying and have that be gospel. I just I just know somebody out there is going to see what I have to offer and they're going to think, you know, maybe that guy knows what he's talking about. And those are the people I'm uh, hoping to affect. Yeah, because a, a lot of times people can preach the message but uh, or tell their message, but Unless you've been there and been in your shoes, it's hard for anybody to really understand what, you, what you've been through. Uh, and as far as being 18, and, and uh, what's your significance there with that number? Um, I was 18 when I had the accident. And unfortunately, because of my brain injury, that's when my brain stopped growing. I'm not saying I'm exactly like I was in high school, but I do have a youthful outlook on life. Sometimes that's good, sometimes not so, so good. <laughs> yeah, I think for some of us, all of us, though, we can relate to that. And then you've had some challenges, too, just physically and even some kind of embarrassing times and things that even today on Thanksgiving, of all things, where I know you're thankful for a lot, but uh, it's hard to go out in a, in a busy public environment. What's one of the challenges you have in that thing away from the house? I need, I need privacy to go to the bathroom. I know that's embarrassing. Everybody says, well, everybody needs privacy. No, nobody can be in my apartment. I need privacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. We, I think we talked about going to a Raider game up at once, and uh, we were concerned about the road trip and being up there in that big of an environment, so I know that's a yeah. big deal. Um, what's um, what's your main reason? I mean, is this are you you feel like at this point in your life is this your reason for being here still? Is to share this message? I've got to believe that because I love being a crossing guard, but there's got to be more to my existence than just being a crossing guard. Yeah, I think it's powerful that you want to continue to share this message. I know you've been wanting to get this word out for a long time, um, but. It, with your, with your, uh, what's some other messages as far as the helmet? I mean, you're talking about the bicycle stuff, oh, even. Now, I'm not because it happened to me. I'm not saying if you go out drinking and driving, you're gonna get a ticket or you're gonna get in an accident. But what my big message is, is that it could. I'm not saying it's going to, but it could. And are you ready to lose all your friends? Are you ready to lose? any chance of dating. I mean, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's like going to Vegas and expect to be a windfall. More likely it's not going to happen, but it could. 
when, like you said, not only losing your friends because of your own uh, injury or problems, but uh, you could lose one of your friends um, by killing them. I mean, you could, they'd be in the car with you, and it could be your girlfriend, could be your friend, uh, and, that, and that in itself would be a terrible thing. You, can, you could come away from it totally fine, but you could be spending time in prison or living with that guilt the rest of your life. That would be horrible. Yeah. And then uh, some other safety tips, and obviously the seatbelt would have been a big fit factor for you, but helmets even with bicycles and stuff, is that... You know, I see people, not necessarily older people, older bike riders, very responsible, wear their helmets. Oh, this is my cat. <laughs> um, wear their helmets and they do what they should. But I see so many young teenagers, preteens, on bikes with two or three people riding on the bike, no helmets. It's just. It goes back to, but it could happen. I'm not saying it's going to, but are you ready to deal with it? Are you ready to deal with it if it does happen to happen? Yeah, because it's hard to, I mean, the brain injury is such a sensitive thing. I mean, like, what, did you, what did you walk away with? You walked away with, what, seven, we didn't walk away. <laughs> you had like seven stitches in your forehead. That was about it as far as physical, physical injuries. Uh, as far as I know, I didn't. It, mine was a closed head injury. Yeah, so a closed head injury. I mean, it's uh, you, you're in a coma for five or six weeks and, and had all the rehab and everything else, but you didn't have any broken bones or anything. So that's going back to the wearing the helmets with your bikes. That's a, that's a big thing because head injury is all it takes. If I, were only, <laughs> if I only would have been wearing my helmet and my car. <laughs> yeah, really. And then finally, uh, if uh, you know somebody's watching this message and either gets in trouble or they hurt a friend and maybe an accident or they even get arrested or something, is there a way that you'd want to you know maybe speak to them or to their school or something? I have a lot of info. Maybe you're tired of hearing me talk about it, but if there's ever an organization or anybody out there that would like me to speak to a gr to the group or whatever, I am w willing and able. All I need is a ride. As I said, I don't have a car or a license. So if you have an organization you'd like me to speak to, please get in contact with me. At uh, I can't call long distance, but my number is 503 371-3459. Okay, good stuff. And then we'll make sure uh, on, your, on your video here, Troy, that we'll have a, a way to contact you through either your YouTube site or a message or other ways to reach you. So we'll make sure uh, they have the ability to reach you as well as and if we need to make a, arrangements for your ride, we'll get that too. But uh, just, yeah, please contact Troy with, at the bottom of the message if you see this on YouTube or on his other personal site here with the county. Uh, he'd love to help you any way he can, obviously, with him sharing this message today on Thanksgiving. Anything else? Happy Thanksgiving. All right, Troy. Thanks so much.